In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use parameter actions along with the measure names field for sorting. Now, typically in Tableau, you can't use measure names in a calculation, but you can use it in parameter actions. So let's first look in the example. So here I have a simple bar chart with three different metrics. I've created a parameter that has three possible options, sales, quantity, and profit. And when I hover over one of those options, I want the chart to sort by that. There you go. So I can hover over sales and it'll sort by sales. Uh, yeah, so it can hover over sales, hover over quantity, hover over profit, and they all sort appropriately. So let's go ahead and build that. So first I need to connect to some data. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick Superstore. All right, so let's first build out the bar chart. So I have subcategory, and I have three different metrics, sales, uh, quantity, and profit. All right, and I'm going to set this to entire view. Now, the reason I might want to use a parameter here is because I could perhaps hide these axes. So if I go ahead and just turn the labels on, I can then hide the different axes. So let me just uncheck show header. And now there's no way for the user to sort. So if I go back, I could, typically a user can just hover over the axis down here and, ch and click on the sort button. Or they could click on this one and click on the sort button. That's rather unintuitive for users a lot of times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hide those axes. That's why I have the labels on the end of the bars. And I'm going to allow them to choose which one they want to sort. So let's start by building a parameter. Uh, and I'm just going to call it my uh, sort sorter. And it's going to have three options in it. It's going to have sales, quantity, and discount. And hit OK. And now I want to actually tell the parameter what to do. So uh, sort value. And I'm going to just use a simple case statement. I'm going to do uh, on my sorter parameter, I want to say when it is sales, then sales. When it is quantity, then quantity. When it is profit, then profit. End. There we go. So those are our three possible options. And now I can sort my subcategory by that field. So I'm going to choose sort. I'm going to pick a field, descending order, and I want to sort it by my sorter, my sort value. OK, there we go. So now I can check if this works by showing my parameter control. And I'm just going to make it a single value list. I can click on quantity and discount. There we go. So we have our three fields. So how do we then turn this into a, um, uh, a sorting option? So let's build a new sheet. So I'm going to call this my bar chart, for lack of a better word. OK, so how do I go about doing that? OK, so the first thing I want to do is I want to build a view that has, uh, let's see, let's start by just putting sales on the text. Let's put quantity on the text as well. And let's put profit on there as well. So we have three fields. I'm going to move these up to measure names. And the field I want to have on text is my measure names. There we go. I'm going to reorder these so they're in the same order as my chart. And I'm going to go ahead and take measure values off of that. Oops. So let's take measure values and just move that to detail. Let's set it to entire view. Or no, I don't want to set it to entire view. Let's just do a bit of formatting. So let's center a line. And let's make the text a bit bigger. So let's maybe make it 18 point. OK, there we go. And I'm going to do a bit of formatting here. So I'm going to get rid of my row borders, my row dividers. OK, and then the last thing I'm going to do is get rid of my tooltips. So let me check show tooltips and hide my headers. OK, so now I have a chart that has uh, sales quantity and discount. OK, something like that. Uh, and let's go ahead and put actually sell 
borders on these and let's make them a bit darker. Okay, so now we can see those a bit better as well. All right, so this is my uh, text. And what I want to do now is put these in a dashboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill my mobile version. And let's uh, actually, let's go ahead and leave it on there and see what happens. So let's go ahead and change the size of this. Let's just say it's, oops, wrong direction here. So let's just pick 800 by 600, something simple. Let's put our bar chart on there first. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my, uh, let's hide the title and let's hide the field labels for the rows. So now we can put our bar chart above that and hide. Let's set it to entire view and let's drag this up. Okay, but now you notice my, my columns don't line up. So I need a bit of spacing on the left-hand side so that sales lines up with these bar charts, quantity lines up with these, and profit lines up with these. So I'm gonna do that by putting a dummy field in the columns. So I'm just gonna double click in the cell and then move that to the left. Okay, uh, no, we wanna put that on the rows. Sorry about that. And then we can hide the field labels. And now I can just kind of move that over so it looks like, yeah, so I'm going to just manually adjust them both just so I can make sure they're perfect. There we go. So now we can say they line up nice and neat. Okay. So what I want to be able to do now is hover over one of these options and have it sort. So to do that, I'm going to put on a dashboard action. And I'm going to add a change parameter values. And I'm going to say update sort parameter. And my source field is going to be my text. I want to do it on hover. My parameter is going to be a sorter, and the field I'm going to update is measure names. Hit OK. Hit OK. And now when I hover quantity, it sorts. Profit, it sorts. Oops. OK. So, OK, so something's broken there. Quantity, profit. OK, so I messed up something in my parameter then. So you see it's not sorting by profit correctly. So let me go back into my parameter and make sure I didn't include an extra space. Oh, I put discount here, this should be profit. There we go. So it helps to pay attention. Okay, so now when I, there we go. Okay, excellent. All right. Uh, all right, so now you can sort by, a, um, by the field measure names, which is really interesting to me because you've never been able to do that before. You've never been able to use measure names in a calculation and in a way, you are kind of using measure names in a calculation because you're using it uh, to determine which field to, to pass to the calculation. So uh, that's about it. Pretty simple this week. Um, over the next uh, few tips that I post, I'm going to build upon this and use some more examples for parameter actions to make some dynamic views. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Have a good day.